Welcome to Trending Tech, unlocking the latest in technology. Today we're diving into one of the most fascinating and futuristic topics in tech, quantum computing. If you've ever wondered what quantum computing is, why it's different from traditional computers, and what makes it so powerful, you're in the right place. We'll go over the basics, explore some core principles, and highlight why quantum computing might just be the next big leap in technology. What is quantum computing? At its core, quantum computing is a new and emerging field of computer science that uses the principles of quantum mechanics to solve incredibly complex problems, problems that even the most advanced classical computers struggle to handle. Think of quantum computing as a blend of cutting-edge hardware and unique algorithms. While traditional computers process information in binary bits, zeros and ones, quantum computers use quantum bits, or qubits. Thanks to quantum mechanics, qubits can represent multiple states simultaneously, giving quantum computers the ability to process complicated tasks much faster than classical computers. Quantum computers are still in development, but their potential is astounding. If fully realized, they could tackle calculations that would take a classical supercomputer thousands of years to complete, sometimes in just minutes. The Key Principles of Quantum Mechanics Understanding quantum computing means getting familiar with some foundational concepts in quantum mechanics. These principles are what make quantum computers so unique and powerful. Superposition Superposition allows a quantum particle or system to represent not just one state, but multiple possibilities at once. A qubit, for example, can be in a combination of zero and one at the same time. Entanglement. Entanglement is a phenomenon where two or more quantum particles become linked, so the state of one directly affects the state of the other, even over long distances. Decoherence. Decoherence occurs when quantum states lose their quantum nature and behave more like classical particles. It can be triggered by measurement or external interference, affecting the stability of quantum computations. Interference. Quantum interference involves overlapping quantum states, creating probabilities that enhance or cancel each other out. This enables quantum computers to focus on the most likely solutions to complex problems. These principles sound strange, and they are. Quantum mechanics often defies common sense, but it's the foundation that enables quantum computing's incredible capabilities. Qubits, the heart of quantum computing. Unlike traditional computers that use bits, zeros and ones, quantum computers rely on qubits. Qubits leverage superposition to store data in multiple states simultaneously, which allows quantum computers to process exponentially more information for example, while two classical bits can represent four combinations, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, two qubits can represent all four states at once. Qubits can be created in several ways, using particles like photons, electrons, and even whole atoms. To maintain stability, qubits must be kept in controlled environments, often at extremely low temperatures to prevent interference and errors due to decoherence. How do quantum computers work? Quantum computers don't just brute force their way through a problem by testing every solution, like classical computers. Instead, they rely on quantum mechanics to evaluate many possibilities simultaneously, making them much faster and more efficient for certain problems. Imagine a maze. If a classical computer were solving a maze, it would try every possible path until it found the exit storing each dead end in memory. A quantum computer, however, could explore multiple paths at once, using quantum interference to find the correct path faster. Quantum computers achieve this by manipulating qubits in superposition and using entanglement to correlate their states. When qubits interfere, certain probabilities cancel out while others amplify, revealing the most likely solution without having to test every possible outcome. Quantum computing versus classical computing. Here's a quick breakdown of how quantum computers differ from classical ones. Classical computing uses binary bits, zeros and ones. Processes data sequentially. 
relies on transistor-based technology, limited by physical constraints. Quantum computing uses qubits, which can be in superposition, zero, one, or both. Relies on quantum mechanical properties, enabling it to solve complex problems faster. Quantum computers don't calculate each step of a problem like classical computers. Instead, they find the most probable solution, making them ideal for tasks with vast data sets or probabilistic answers. Quantum computing in real life. Since the 1980s, quantum computing has transitioned from theory to practice, with tech giants like IBM, Google, and Amazon, as well as startups like Regetti and IonQ, investing heavily. Quantum computing is projected to become a $1.3 trillion industry by 2035. Imagine a future where scientists can simulate and test drug interactions in seconds or where supply chain issues are resolved instantly. The quantum computing revolution is just beginning, but it promises to unlock new industries, streamline logistics, and accelerate discoveries. Why quantum computing is the future. Quantum computing isn't just another evolution of traditional computing, it's a whole new frontier. By harnessing the power of quantum mechanics, we're looking at a future where problems that once seemed unsolvable are within reach. From drug discovery to advanced AI and cybersecurity, quantum computing holds the key to breakthroughs that could transform our world. Stay tuned to Trending Tech for more updates on emerging technology like quantum computing. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video.